Breaking news, Nigerians, the Director General of the Labour Party's presidential campaign in the 2023 election, Mr. Doni Okupi, has stated that the candidate of the party, Peter Obi, betrayed the People's Democratic Party's candidate, Atiku Abubakar, to contest the election. Now, according to Doni Okupi, Obi's uh, presidential ambition forced him to go against Atiku who brought him into national politics. Donny Okupe denied the allegation that he was the one that betrayed Obi, maintaining that he decided to redraw his support for the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi because he was no longer interested in working with him. The politician spoke in a viral video which circulated on social media and noted that he never betrayed Obi People do say that, yes, he betrayed Obi. No. How can he betray Obi? Because he started politics before Peter Obi. Where was Peter Obi when he started politics in 1978? Obi was nowhere. Now, he knows that at this point, his life, nobody can come and say that his life and his political destiny is being tied to Peter Obi. No. He has not, in fact, he ha it has not gotten to that extent. Obi was the vice presidential candidate of Atiku Abubakar in the 2019 general elections, and it brought him to the national limelight because of his own ambition, which was correct. Although Peter Obi left the party and contested against Atiku Abubakar, so if people are saying, "Oh, what did Obi do to uh, what Obi did to Atiku Abubakar?" Is it fair? That it's not fair. That it was Obi's interest in 2023 that made him go into a collision course against his former master. And noted that Obi was never his master. He was only Obi's supporter. And he supported him to a point that he decided to go back and be himself. So how can that be an offense? You know, Don Okupe was the former DG of the Labour Party presidential campaign and has made claims about Peter Obi's political history in a viral video where he stated that he entered politics in 1978 and Obi was not a known figure back then. He also shared his perspective on Obi's presidential aspirations and his own decision to withdraw support for Obi's candidacy, citing a loss of interest in working with him. According to him, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, a leader of the Pan Yoruba group, Afeni Fere, had persuaded him to support Obi. That it was Pa Ayo that brought the idea of supporting Obi because Pa Ayo objected to the idea of a northerner succeeding the former president, Mohamed Buhari, adding that he supported the move for the South to produce Nigeria's president in 2023. So Don Yokube further stated that. The collective decision to support to be from the southeast was based on fairness. It was based on fairness, and Pa Aya Debanjo also pushed him to supporting uh, Peter Obi. He noted that PDP actually wanted a Northerner to replace Buhari, which did not make sense to him, because a Northerner just finished tenure, and a Northerner in the in the person of Atiku Abubakar cannot continue from where Buhari st stopped. They need a southern candidate. A lot of people clamored that it should be zoned to the south, to the southeast precisely, that it's only the southeast that has not produced a president for a long time, and that they should respect this fact and support the southeast presidency, which Don Yokube noted that he, he agreed to. And when they reviewed the presidential candidates from that region, they concluded that, okay, it's best supporting Peter Obi. And that was what happened. That was what happened. Speaking for that, Okupe said he went to the press center in Abiy Okuta to declare he was rejoined from the race so that he would support Peter Obi. And by that time, he had not met Obi and had not discussed or even seen him. He only knew that Obi wanted to become president. And a few days later, Peter Obi called him on the phone and requested that he wants to see him. And they met and discussed. And that was how he became the director general of the Peter Obi's presidential campaign council. And that was how his journey with Obi started. 
That was how his journey with Spirit will be started. So Don Yokupe noted that the party, hmm, the Labour Party, were inadequately arranged to cover up the national election. That was why they lost at the 2023 presidential election, that the structures of the party were not adequate to cover up at the national level. So Obi, the, uh, the Labour Party did not have what it took to win the presidential poll, noting that they did a lot of campaigns, they had mobilization, you know, but they also had flaws and shortcomings. And the party was grossly and inadequately arranged to cover up a national uh, election. The structures that the Labour Party had did not cover up the entire country and noted. So he, he made this interview in the light of people saying that, well, Obi, uh, he betrayed Obi. He noted that he did not betray Obi. Instead, it was Obi that betrayed Atiku Abubakar because he did not contest the PDP uh, presidential ticket with him in the People's Democratic Party. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? You know, uh, this is Don Yokupe sharing his own uh, perspective on Obi's presidential ambition, where he addressed the report of the alleged bit of his alleged betrayer of Pito B, providing his own account of the circumstances surrounding his departure from the Obi Dati presidential campaign organization, where he noted that he never betrayed Obi. Something happened in 2023 that made Edonio Kupe to resign as the DG of the OB Dati Presidential Campaign Council. It was said that uh, he was involved in a corruption scandal, you know, something like that, that the EFCC came, to, came and picked him up back then. So because of that controversy, he decided to redraw uh, his position as the DG of the OB Dati Presidential Campaign Organization. And ever since his withdrawal, he was supporting Obio. He supported Peter B even after the 2023 presidential election. But immediately uh, Tinibu was sworn into power, you know, the support started, you know, drifting. The, the support from doing Okupe started drifting. And before we knew, he started talking about the president, the APC, and all of that. So, my country people, uh, this is just Don Yokupe sharing his own insights. I see Don Yokupe as a man that is not stable. You know, a man that is not stable. He is not really stable because he is here and he is there. He is everywhere. Don Yokupe is everywhere. If you go to the Labour Party, he is partially there. The APC, he is partially there. The People's Democratic Party, he is partially there. Uh, Don Yokupe does not have his own ideology. You know, every politician tends to come with their own ideology. Uh, Don Yokupe doesn't have an ideology of his own. So sometimes I tend to see them talking about obese betrayal here and there and all of that. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.